1979, found on page 525. Please make sure you're ready to go. Transforming formulas is today's topic. What we're going to do is we're going to take a formula and we're going to rearrange the variables to get a different variable by itself. Here's four formulas that I have on the board, three of which you should be pretty familiar with. The first of which is distance equals rate times time. Distance is a variable that's by itself. We multiply the rate times the time in order to find the distance. But what if we wanted to find the time? We would want to get the t by itself, which is what we're going to do in today's lesson. We're going to transform this equation so that it looks different. If I'm looking at distance equals rate times time, and I want to get time by itself, I have to recognize the operation that's happening between the variable that I want to isolate and the thing that is with the variable, which is this r in this case. This r and this t are multiplying. So just as before, if I want to get this variable by itself, I do the opposite operation. So I would split it at the equal sign, identify that this is multiplication, wanting to get t by itself, I would divide r, divide r, the r would cancel the r, and I would get t is equal to d over r. In other words, time is equal to distance over rate. The second example is p equals t plus q. Random variables. Here we have addition as the operation. So what we're going to do in this problem is we're going to get t by itself again. In this equation, we have t plus q. Identifying the operation as addition, we want the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. So again, I split it at the equal sign, identify my variable, and subtract q from this side, subtract q from this side. T would then equal P minus Q. And now I have T by itself. I have transformed the equation, which was P equals T plus Q, into the new equation, T equals P minus Q. Let's look at Let's look at that again with the next example. The next example starts us off with the familiar circumference formula, which is circumference equals pi times diameter. C equals pi times D. If I wanted to get D by itself, I would transform this equation by moving the pi over, I would split it at the equal sign, identify the variable that I want to isolate, and then divide this side by pi, divide this side by pi, and I would get d is equal to the circumference divided by pi. I have transformed the equation. Last example is the formula for the area of a rectangle or a parallelogram or a rhombus area equals base times height. If I want to get height by itself, then I would have to move the base. Recognizing that these things are multiplying, I would use division to move the B over to the other side. Split it at the equal sign, identify the variable that is to be isolated, and divide B, divide B. And I would get H by itself then to equal A over B. Let's put some numbers to this example. Let's 
draw a rectangle that has an area of 12 feet squared. It has a height of 2 feet and we're trying to find out what the base is equal to. So we take the formula which is area equals base times height. We take the 12, which is the area. We put it there. This is equal to base, which we don't know. So we leave as B, times height, which is two feet. This should have been feet as well. Split it at the equal sign. Identify a variable. Divide two feet. Divide two feet, and I would get base equals six feet. And that's applying numbers to what it is that we just did. Please take a moment and do the practice from this lesson, and we'll review that in just a moment. 